Goldbridge, British Columbia. Dan Treadway lives for danger, pushing his snowmobile to the limit. There's no summit too high, no slope too steep for this daredevil sportsman. Today, he's got video cameras along for the ride. On this, his biggest challenge yet. But even for Dan, this 1,000 foot high mountain face and 40 degree drop are risky. One wrong move could wipe Dan out permanently. But what happens instead is even worse. The scene backfires from the word action. The snowmobile cracks a swath of ice from underneath the peak shell. In an instant, a roiling avalanche chases Dan down. He can see the oncoming disaster, but his ride is no match for a crushing wall of snow, a hundred feet wide. He's overcome by the speed and weight of the cloud and swallowed up. Buried six feet underground. Up on the ridge, fellow rider Ray Archer hopes his friend will somehow emerge alive. We need help! I was pretty scared, like when he dropped in and the whole hillside let go on him. The only thing we were hoping for was him to ride out of it. We ran across the top of the peak. Looked down to see if we could see him come out, and then that's when we didn't. So we knew we had to get to him. <laughs> Dan's buddies race to his last known location. Keep your eyes on up. Under the ice, Dan is rapidly succumbing to hypothermia. As his body temperature drops, his pulse and breathing will slow, and his organs will begin to fail. Every minute he's buried brings him closer to certain death. And to top it off, no one is even sure where he is. There's one hope. Using Dan's beacon, they zero in and dig deep to get him out. I was just pumping with adrenaline and, and I couldn't screw up. Like if I screwed up, then it would have been too long. Suddenly, they hear signs of life. We, we got him. We got him, man. He's out. He's alive. Everything's good. He's alive. They pull their friend out from the sub-zero powder. Dan is in shock, but alive. After 10 minutes under the snow. How are your lungs? When we got you out here, blue boy. 10 minute mark was you know, right at the kind of touch and go area. And if they would have taken a couple more seconds even to get to me, who knows what the outcome would have been. Whenever uh, something this traumatic happens, I think it takes a long time to actually totally get it out of your mind. And I don't know if it ever will. It's a thrill that only extreme sports can give. Dan Treadway lives for this adrenaline rush. And on this day, he almost died for it. 